This is a special book for all of our third graders who are learning about fractions. It's called Gator Pie, written by Louise Matthews and pictures by Jenny Bassett. This is Alvin, and this is Alice. One day, they found a pie on a table near the edge of the swamp. It was a whole pie that had not been cut. I wonder what kind it is, said Alice. Let's eat it and find out, cried Alvin. Don't grab, said Alice, slapping his paw. I'll cut it first. Now let's see, said Alice. There are two of us, so we need two pieces. Then cut two halves, said Alvin. But before she did, an alligator stomped up with a nasty look in his eye. Give me some pie, he growled. Three gators, gulped Alice. That means three pieces. Cut three one-thirds, muttered Al. But before she did, a new gator came and slithered onto the bench. Eating pie, he asked with a terrible grin. His teeth looked very sharp. Yes, said Alice. That means four pieces, Al grunted. Cut four one-fourths. But before she did, four gators appeared, swaggering like gangsters. Hello, little gators, they said with a sneer. We hear you're giving out pie. Oh, murmured Alice. I guess we are. She counted their fat, warty tails. Eight gators, eight pieces, she said to Al. Cut eight one-eighths, he grumbled. But before she did, splash, splutter, and crash, a ton of gators marched out of the swamp like an army. We've come to get our pie, they said. Their wet scales flashed like armor in the sun. Alice's teeth went clickety-clack in her snout. Why, yes, of course, she gasped. Pie for everyone. In haste, she started counting tails, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, while the gators started to argue. I bet you it's crayfish and lemon pie. I say banana. No pumpkin. You're wrong. It's pineapple. You're crazy. It's butterscotch. They were shouting louder and louder. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred, said Alice. Oh my, a hundred pieces, she sighed. You'll have to cut one hundred one hundredths, Al groaned, trying to think in the noise. Oh, said Alice, that will be hard. If they think I've cut the pie unfairly, they'll start an awful fight. It took a long time to cut the pie into one hundred slices. Alice did her very best to make each piece the same size. Oh dear, Alice whispered when she finished. The pieces are so tiny. Too tiny, said Alvin. Suddenly, Alvin jumped up on the table. He pointed to the pie. Pick a piece, he shouted. We're not sure they're all the same size. Don't say that, squeaked Alice in a fright. But Alvin winked at her. I'll take this piece, said the smiley gator, sliding his paw toward the pie. No, you won't, snarled the fattest gator, biting his tail. Then the fattest gator reached for a slice. Somebody pulled him down. Soon they were kicking, scratching, snarling, snapping, chomping, and stomping on tails. Ninety-eight growling gators were fighting for the biggest slice. Alvin and Alice held their breath. Then Alvin nudged Alice. Now, he cried, grab the pie. They skittered past the pile of twisting gators and raced off into the swamp. All by themselves, they divided up the pie, piece by piece, fair and square. They each got 50 slices, exactly one half of the pie. That was better than one eighth or one fourth or even one-third of the pie. And it was much, much better than one one-hundredth, which was just a tiny sliver. How lucky for us, said Alice, that it was our favorite kind. Yes, Alvin said, 
chocolate marshmallow. Which piece of pie would you rather have? I think they're happy. All right, third graders, hope that you enjoy Gator Pie. It's a great book about math and fractions.